You know, one of the most important things in bowling is to make sure you hit your target. And when you hit your target, you're supposed to strike. But today we're gonna to break down with Coach Mike Jazz now that not only hitting your target is important, but the angle that you're going at your target is also important. That's right, Mike, because even if you hit your target, if you don't slide in the right position, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna have the right angle to be effective. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Absolutely, let's head out to the lanes and let's take a look at how those different angles will help you strike more. The important thing that we're gonna talk about today is the impact of where you slide has on the shot shape you create and creating different angles on the lane. So that's why it's so important to make sure you notice and pay attention to where you slide at the foul line. So the general rule is when you want straighter angles down the lane, your slide position will be closer, more on top of your target. When you want a bigger angle through your target, maybe more shot shape and a further break point to the right, you're gonna move left, assuming the same target will change those angles. So what we just described is for a right-hander. If you're left-handed, obviously it would just be the opposite. To increase more angle at your target, you would move further to the right. So now we're gonna take a look at our friend Marshall Kent, PBA champion, and show you three different angles created, assuming the same target with different foot placements. So by watching those three shots with Marshall, you can really see how that slide location can drastically change the shot shape and the results on the lane. So when you're bowling your leagues and tournaments and the lanes start to change, don't try to keep everything the same and expect a different result if you're not hitting the pocket. Move your feet around, change those angles, see how that will change your break point in that shot shape. You'll find what works for you. And keep in mind when you're doing this, we want to assume and keep in mind that you want to keep this ball nice and close to your shoulder. If all of a sudden your, your arm is way out here, you're defeating the purpose of the foot position to create angle. Well, you can really see there, Mike, how the different angles really changes the way that the ball reads the pattern and shapes the pocket. Yeah, I mean, it shows you the importance of really paying attention to where your slide ends up. And keep in mind the general rule again, if you need straighter angles, there's gonna be less of a spread from your feet to your target. More of a spread creates more angle, more shot shape, break point goes further out. You may need that when the lanes break down. Yeah, for sure. So make sure when you go out and you practice, make sure you look down, see where you're sliding and how, how it compares to your target. And when you look at those things and see your shot shape and you figure all that out and put it all together, you're going to be a great bowler. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our video today. Hopefully you learned something you can apply to your game. Do us a favor, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Also, if you'd like to get backstage access to our coaches, you can join our online community at BackstageBowling.com. Use the coupon code SAVE20 to save $20 off an annual subscription. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.